So how much do you need to retire? If you've asked yourself this question and dug into the math and tried to figure out how much you need, you've undoubtedly come across the 4% rule or the Trinity study, which states that you need a portfolio big enough that you can draw out 4% a year and live on that without running out of money. Well, that's one way to calculate it. Another way to calculate it is from Fidelity. They've released their retirement savings guide with some guidelines about how much you should be saving or how much you should have saved by a certain age. So we're gonna dig into the stats and uh, you can compare and see if you are on track or you're uh, falling behind based on what they say you should be saving at your age and at your income level. So it's uh, the Financial Services Fidelity and they've done extensive research and figured out how much you should save by age and income level. And here are their recommendations. Number one is aim to save at least 15% of your pre-tax annual income, including any employer match to your 401k. So 50% of your paycheck should go into investments like your 401k, your brokerage account, your, your IRA, what have you. <clears throat> I think that number should be higher because I like to be a little bit more conservative. If you think 15% sounds like a lot, then start at a lower amount. Start at 5% and then every six months, bump it up a, a percent or two and you'll get to that 15% or even higher. I got up to north of 50% when I was saving for retirement by doing just that, starting at 10%. And then once I felt comfortable with that, I bumped it up, cut some expenses, uh, got some raises, and just as I went over the years, bumped that up as much as I could. Uh, number two they recommend is targeting having one times your salary income saved by age 30. So if you make $50,000 at age 30, you should have $50,000 saved. If you make $80,000 at age 30, you should have $80,000 saved. So if you're in your 20s, that is a goal to be striving for. Save your age by the time you're 30. And then as you get older, that number gets higher and higher. So they recommend having three times your salary by age 40. So if you make $50,000 a year by the time you are 40, you should have 50 times three. So $150,000 saved by the time you're 40. Now moving along, getting more, more up there in years, by the time you're 50, which is how old, how old I am, you should have six times your income. So if you make $50,000 a year, you should have saved and invested in a portfolio of $300,000 a year. And moving along at 60, you should have eight times. And at 67, which is typically the retirement age, you should have 10 times your income saved and invested. So the 10X multiplier of 67 should provide you enough savings to maintain your pre-retirement lifestyle, assuming you want to retire at 67. So for example, if your income is $80,000 at age 60, you'd aim to have around $640,000 invested, which is eight times your portfolio uh, saved to be on track. Uh, if you're more conservative or you just want a larger, a larger cushion, then go for instead of eight times, go for 10 or, or 12. And the uh, typical guidelines for FIRE, the Financial Independence Retire Early Movement, is to have 25 times your income. So what Fidelity has outlined here is pretty conservative, but it's a great, or, or not conservative enough, uh, I should say. They're, they're asking you to save more than is re recommended in the FIRE movement but it's probably a lot more doable for people. And it's a great starting point, especially if you're younger, to know how much you should be saving out of your, out of your paycheck, the 15%, and how much you should reach by each, each age. So the one difference that Fidelity has versus the FIRE movement is that they take this portfolio and they assume that this will replace 45% of your pre-retirement income, and then you add on Social Security and other benefits, so you're still withdrawing 4% and then you make up the difference with social security, pension, uh, pension funds, et cetera. I think it's a little risky to depend on social security, especially if you are younger. Um, we don't know if that's gonna be around. The social security agency has said that they're not gonna go broke by 2032, which is the, the year that is often thrown out there in the press, but it's likely that they're gonna cut benefits down to 80% 
of what they have now and or, and or push back the years. Um, but this is, I consider this the minimum bar to, to save 15% and to reach these milestone, milestones by, by whatever age they, they outline. So consider that um, you need to adjust these numbers based on, based on what you plan to do in retirement. If you tra plan to travel a lot or if you want higher income in retirement or have higher expenses, maybe your house isn't paid off or you're helping your kids or you are afraid inflation is going to persist or that the market will return less over the years, then bump that up, uh, bump that up past the uh, 8 to 12 X, 8 to 10, 12 times that they, they recommend. So this is just a quick, quick outline of, uh, of what you can do to prepare for your retirement. If you found this helpful, please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel because I've got plenty more retirement planning content and I write a daily newsletter about personal finance and keeping you up to date on the markets at morningdownload.com. You can subscribe down below. It's free. Every day the market's open. Keep you update and help you learn. Continue to know uh, what to do with your money to uh, retire early and have a comfortable financial life. Thanks and see you next time.